Ladies and gentlemen, can I, can I introduce a young man that I've known for over 30 years? You've probably seen this little report in the vellum. I've known this chap for over 30 years, one of my best friends. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Glyn Mitchell. Now, he's not going to sing for you. He's not going to dance. He's not going to play his uke. But we're going to tell you a little story about Glyn that happened last September. In fact, it was September 2nd, and Glyn had gone shopping in Manchester. And Glyn went to a place that no one in this room has been to, because Glyn actually collapsed and died on September 2nd, 2013. And luckily for Glyn, there was a man also shopping in Manchester who saved Glyn's life. He did first aid and CPR and kept him alive until the paramedics arrived. And ladies and gentlemen, that chap's here with us tonight. A lad who's a Lancashire lad, lives just up the road in Thornton. And luckily, he's a police sergeant that works in Blackpool, of all places. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Sergeant Andy Smith. And as you can see, Glenn, this is the first time they've ever met since that day. This is a bit like uh, Scylla Black Show, isn't it? Surprise, <laughs> surprise. Surprise, surprise. <clears throat> and I'm in the middle of it all. So, because Andy's a policeman, he can't accept gifts because saving people's lives is just part of everyday job for him. So, we wanted to give him something, but he's not really allowed to accept it. So, we thought, well, sod that. <laughs> Andy... One of the things that we rarely, rarely give here is a free membership. So what we'd like to do on behalf of the George Former Society is give you a lifetime free membership of the George Former Society. So Vivian is going to bring up... ..this certificate that says... The Executive Committee and Membership present a lifetime membership to Sergeant Andy Smith in recognition of his swift action in saving the life of one of our members, Mr. Glenn Mitchell, on the 2nd of September 2013. So there you are, Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. On behalf of all the membership. Now, now because you're a fully paid up member, you, you've got to have a membership card, so that's yours, and you'll get one of those free forever. And also, we'd like to give you our monthly magazine, which you'll get four times a year, which is our, our vellum. And you're, at, you're actually mentioned on page three. There's no photograph, but you're mentioned on page three. No. We'd also like you to present you with... We'd like to present you with George Formby biography. Oh, thank you very much. This is going to keep you busy. <laughs> now, strangely enough, I found out only today that Andy used to live in Wigan. <laughs> where our, our hero used to live as well, so how fantastic is that? And also, he has seen a few films, but we've got him a full set of films to enjoy. So there you are, on behalf of the George Foreman Society, Andy. The, yeah, there's, there's a set of films. Now, this, this, this is an absolute, it's a, a unique occasion. We have never, ever done this. We've been going 52 years this year, and we've never, ever done this for anybody before. So this is a really unique thing you've done. So thank you. And I know you can't accept gifts because your boss said, but we're going to give you, not that, we're going, to, <laughs> we're going to give you this. This is a check for 250 quid to give to a charity of your choice. All right, fantastic. Okay, so there you go with that.
Now, in the, in the George Formby Society, we've always said, behind every good man, there's a good woman, and that's the same for all of us. So I'm sure in your case, you've got a good woman as well, Andy, and we know that she's called Lynn. So Lynn is now a member, and if Lynn would like to come up and receive her membership card, big hand for Lynn. You're a member. And also, we've got a nice bouquet for Lynn for looking after Andy. So, thank you very much. You. Would you like to say a few words? Are you all right with that? Do you want to move over here, Lynn? Do you want to move that way? No, move a bit. You okay there? Do you want to say a few words, Andy? Lost for words. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just a few more coincidences we've been discussing just before we came in. Uh, I'm dead keen on DIY, handy handy, because I was doing some research on your websites, um, and I know that there was a policeman's song that George Formby sang. On the beat. Um, but when Glyn collapsed in Manchester, I was actually leaning against a lamppost looking into Marks and Spencers. Um, my wife had gone in buying some underwear. Well, it's not really a man's thing, is it, going in? So, um, there was a few other coincidences other than the Wigan one. I was actually born in 1961. Um, so it's, uh, it's a strange old world, isn't it? Um, but really, thank you very much for this. The cheque will be going to the British Heart Foundation. Uh, thank you. I believe uh, Glyn has had a heart bypass. Heart bypass. Um, and my father passed away a couple of years ago with a heart attack, so it's, uh, it's very apt, really. So. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, thanks, Glyn. So there you go. When you look in your mirror and you see a policeman, they're not just nasty people, you get great people like Andy. Well done. Thank you very much.